This video may not be appropriate for children of 13 and under. Parental discretion is advised. Hi everyone, this is Raziel Kane. I'm back with another review and today I'm going to do this, but it's going to be a little different. Not long ago, Toy Hacks uh, released, well, this set, well, it's still in the envelope, uh, for these guys. And basically, you take these guys and you convert them into Jackie and Smokescreen from Transformer Prime. And I thought that was really interesting. And it's a show I enjoyed more than uh, more recent stuff, let's say. And uh, Transformers Prime was had a you know big following. A lot of people really like it. And I'm one of them. It's it's really good. And you know uh, the design of Wheeljack uh, was just different enough, and the character was really interesting. And Smokescreen was well, basically your hot rod. You know. Uh, just jumps into the action, thinks he's the greatest, and, you know, will do anything to impress anyone. Um, and he had a really cool alt mode. So now they're taking Silver Streak and putting decals on him to make him look like Smokescreen. I thought that was really fun. And bonus, he didn't have shoulder cannons, so I'm going to be able to take these and put it on my Siege Prowl because I don't have the cannons for that. Because uh, Toy Hacks, they had a set, but they reduced the cost of the set and stopped mailing the um, you know shoulder cannons that uh, they uh, printed. I think it was injection printing. Uh, injection more than 3D printing. But uh, you know, it, I would have liked to have these shoulder cannons. But now, I will. They fit, so it's uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the toy axing, but before I do so, just wanna remind everyone to check out my voice acting playlist, the main feature of my channel, something I'm very proud of. And also check out DJC Collectible, my sponsor, fantastic online store where you can get your 10% discount code uh, at the end of the video. And now let's roll the intro. I was nearly a prime, but somehow I'm still a rookie. Right, taking a look at these guys before I apply the decals. Uh, Wheeljack, you know, uh, we've all seen this guy. It's like maybe a four-year-old mold now. Uh, this was from the Kingdom. Um, I, I also have uh, Earthrise. It's the same thing. And my has already been uh, altered with Toy Hacks decals. So uh, this is an extra. We got it on during a sale. So that's pretty cool. Uh, at DJC Collectibles, of course. So, oh man, the Head. I remember the head being really tight and you have to have the shoulder cannon I mean he looks really good already he looks even better with the toy hacks decals for this mold but now transforming him into Jackie is gonna be very interesting uh, you can see that's uh, Jackie's uh, iconic sword um, on the toy hacks uh, sheet it says those are freak Athena freak Athena so uh, maybe it's a reference in the show and I'm missing and you have two blades, uh, decals, one with Cybertronian uh, writing on it and the other one without. And they're, they both say Rapazy on it. Don't know what that means. Um, yeah, I haven't watched Prime in a long time. And you have decals. I think this does look for uh, Wheeljack. And this also look to be Wheeljack's decals. Uh, this, there's black katanas, I don't know, that, that'd that be interesting, but I don't know if this is all going to be Wheeljack. Uh, but this looks to be more like for Silver Streak, who's going to become Smokescreen. And we've seen this mold you know, a few times now with uh, the Prowl, Barricade, uh, Blue Streak, and Smokescreen. Uh, so it's going to be interesting to make this into uh, Smokescreen from Prime. I can't, I can't, that's pretty much why I got this set. I wanted to look at the alt mode and uh, I'm going to have my wish. And now first thing first, I'm going to remove this and put it on Siege Prowl, who's also been enhanced with Toy Hacks decals. I don't know if that's the right color for him, but this fits. And now I have a more complete Prowl. There you go. This set got me three updates. That's pretty cool. 
And then you have, this is definitely for a smoke screen. Looks really good. And then you have license plate, uh, smoke screen and uh, API 437. Don't know what that means. Might have to look it up. And you have uh, window decals to be dark, like a darker shade. It's gonna look real good. And then you have, you know, Autobot logos and stuff like that. So, oh, Wrecker. Uh, yeah, Jackie's a Wrecker. I probably is gonna use the Wrecker stuff. So there you go. So final look at Smokescreen and Wheeljacks before. Uh, no, time. Time to stop acting like a rookie. Good to see you, kid. Safe to assume we're the only three wreckers around. All right, so here we are with Jackie and Smokescreen. Uh, what's left is uh, the PR for RPI 437 uh, on this one. Uh, one of the black blades. And I'll show you what I did with that. A couple eyes for Jackie. Many other eyes for... Uh, well, both, I guess, because there's round and then there's uh, angled. Uh, the uh, Wreck and Rule license plate. And then some decals for, well, this and this here. Uh, you have some alternates. And nothing on this one, I think. Yep, pretty much empty. This one's all gone. And for the blade, uh, well, this. And to start with the blade, one thing I wish Toy Hacks would have done is do the Cybertronian writing that you see here. So basically what I did is put a black blade first and then put a silver blade with the Cybertronian writing on top of it so that they shine through because they're actually cut out. So all the Cybertronian writing are holes, uh, very finely uh, cut holes. And so the black, sh yeah, it's hard to show on camera, but the, the black just comes through it and it looks good. But the problem is that it's uh, all the same side. There's two blades with Cybertronian writing, but they're both for the left side, depending on how you hold it. I wish I could have been able to make one blade completely Cybertronian and the other one either black or silver. So this is the back. Yeah. So you have here the black one and here this, the chromed one, because I wanted to have different stuff. And there's little enhancement for uh, the handle, the hilt. So. Well, not really the hell, but you get the gist. So, looks really good. For figures themselves, um, Wheeljack looks really good. Uh, in robot mode, you have the logo that shines uh, more. The face sculpt, I don't know if it's gonna show properly, but you have a new decal for the mouth, uh, the ears, and the eyes. So that looks different. Two pin covers. I mean, I could have covered uh, this pin here, but I really wanted more to hide the little pins here. Uh, you have the window, it's gonna show a lot more in uh, alt mode. You have crotch decals here and here, leg decals for here, and then you have specific uh, decals for the inside of the legs uh, here and here, and this line here, um, because the window goes over that, so that's pretty cool. And then this will pop more in uh, robot mode, and then uh, in alt mode, sorry. Pretty much anything else. I don't think. Oh, yeah, there's specific decals for the wings. That's pretty cool. Right here and here. And uh, that's pretty much it for robot specific decals. And now with smoke screen, um, nice enhancement. Like you have all this stuff which will go over in alt mode, but you have specific leg decals, uh, crotch area here. And you have new eyes. And then, I don't know if it shows on camera properly, but you do have a little decal on both sides of the face to enhance the look. And I, I think it works. And then you have, oh, little air bubble here. Happens once in a while. Uh, you have the hand decal here. So that's two decals. And here, this is not one stripe. It's yellow, plastic, and yellow decals. Same on the other side, but uh, be careful when you apply the wrist or the forearms decal because this is split in two because of the uh, blast, uh, blast effect port. Uh, what else do we have for robot specific? That's pretty much it. But he looks really good. And now uh, to do a quick comparison, here's the before model. So while well, before, this is before model. So you can see 
a whole lot of it difference between the two. But this guy here was enhanced with the wheeljack decals, and this is the Transformer Prime decal, and it's completely different. And in alt mode, it's even more different. So there you go. And now I'm going to transform these guys and show you the uh, alt modes. <laughs> And now in alt mode, they both look fantastic. Honestly, I mean, this is good. It's one of the best mold we have from Earthrise. Uh, the transformation's fun. He got retooled into Sunstreaker, kinda. I really dig this mold. And I haven't seen those colors in a while because uh, with the toy hack set, pretty much everything is covered up. So, and now I'm gonna cover it up again. So this looks really good I mean I love all the details already but that's all gonna change soon and then him uh, in alt mode he's pretty plain like I mean silver Autobot logo and dark blue everywhere uh, it's pretty much it and I always have a hard time with the, the arms on this one but anyway uh, it looks good uh, but I can't wait to see what happens to those windows and those wheels, if they have, uh, if they don't have uh, decals for the wheels, I'm probably gonna use my chrome pen and uh, fix that. So, so there you go. Whoa, see, unpegging, love it. All right, final look at uh, Wheeljack, and I keep saying Smoke Streak, but that's still Silver Streak. And uh, so, final look at Wheeljack and Silver Streak before. <laughs> Smoke screen. Oh, what gave me away? All right, now that we are in alt mode, uh, first Jackie looks really good. Honestly, completely different car. Uh, unfortunately, the um, door decal is not thick enough, so you still see a bit of the 638 underneath. So if you have a primer and you're uh, comfortable with doing that, I would recommend that uh, before you put the decal. But, you know, it changes the shape of the window, uh, changes the back. I mean, if you look at it from that way, it kind of looks goofy. Uh, but from this side, looks good. Uh, front end looks really good. So what you have is decals for here, here, and here. Two decals here. You have a decal here, plus two little ones, and then two more here. Window in three pieces. Uh, you have the top here, the Wrecker logo, you have a decal here, you have six decals here to do each row. And I misaligned one and I couldn't get it off and I didn't want to rip it, so. You have a little uh, decal here. Some of the paint still shows from underneath, uh, but it doesn't look half bad either. Uh, you have a decal here uh, on the side, uh, underneath the door. That's one decal and it's cut in kind of three places like this is half cut this is half cut so it's really hard to align so be careful little decal here you have another one here uh, you have a portion here and then a little triangle in the corner right there plus this decal here that bends over and goes all the way up to the uh, well the side the canopy whatever uh, and then you have two decals for a cross around the wheel and then two more for this part and this part uh, same thing on the other side you have two decals that wrap around the uh, spoiler and then in the back I have the Jackie license plate that goes over this white decal and then you have the two tail lights I think I think that's it oh well yeah well you see the pin covers here Oh, I forgot to show. Well, pin covers, uh, there's two black ones. Actually, there's four black ones. There's some on the inside of the uh, uh, the legs that I forgot to show, so sorry. And if you want to do a quick comparison, here he is with Earthrise uh, Wheeljack with the uh, proper, you know, Wheeljack uh, decals. Uh, and it's two different cars now. Like, I mean, same model, but completely different uh, set of stickers. And it's it's both of them are equally fantastic so really happy that i decided to get that uh, decal set as for smoke screen he looks uh, well it's obviously the look of season three of transformer prime the beast hunter uh, season and he looks really good i mean the uh, 
yeah, it kind of it's not that hard to align actually. Uh, all that uh, those bracing stripes looks really good. The little decal. I mean, overall you have decals here plus the windows. You have two stripe here and then one that goes over the uh, the peggle. You have one here, one here, and then the window on each side. Uh, looks good. You have one that goes all the way here, one on this side, one on top of the air intake, and then you have the front end like this. Uh, the decal goes over the uh, the Autobot logo goes over the uh, the stripes, and then you have one stripe here for the bumper, one stripe which I unfortunately kind of misaligned. I now realize uh, you have one line at the bottom, and then you have the two new. Uh, Headlight. Sorry, camera won't zoom properly once in a while. So you have the two headlight, and then you have the new grill. For the door, you have the two two decals for the stripe. You have two decals for the door and the rest here. Uh, you have about 16 decals for the wheels. Uh, two different sets. So there's bigger ones for the back wheels, smaller ones for the front wheels. Uh, give it a little chrome edge. So I, I still might go ahead and chrome it with my pen. And then at the back, you have the smoke screen. The other, um, yeah, I chose that one because to me that's, you know, smoke screen. So he's going to wear his name. Uh, you have the new uh, tail lights, a yellow stripe, and a black light underneath the. Uh, oh, and you have a small black decal right here. Looks fantastic. So let me put them in display mode and uh, show you what it's going to look like on the shelf. Scanning new war paint. Thought it'd be proactive to follow Optimus's lead. And Bumblebees. All right, final uh, look is gonna be something like that on the shelf. Jackie with bulkhead. Uh, that's the uh, that's the two wrecker I own. Probably gonna stop there because I don't plan on collecting the whole Transformers Prime line. I really just enjoy these characters, and it's not really that I enjoyed Smokescreen that much. It's just I love the conversion kit. I thought. It was more for the decals that I got these extra figures just because I wanted to do the conversion because that's a fun project. I hadn't seen anyone doing it, so figured I might get a couple of views out of it. Sue me. So there you go, guys. That's my final look at uh, Wheeljack and Smokescreen from Transformers Prime. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, whole thing. Sorry it was a bit longer than usual, but uh, I had a real blast applying all of these uh, decals. So thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this review. If you did, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell. Also leave a comment, I love reading those. Keep coming back, I have more on the way. And remember, nothing in life gives you the right to be an asshole. Take care.